Hey folks, Shuli here from Design Files. I just wanted to pop on with a really quick video to show you how you can now add drop shadows to any of the items within your mood board designs. So if you like the idea of being able to create concept boards like this, where you're bringing in a variety of different finishes or fabrics, but you felt like maybe your designs were just a little bit flat because you didn't have the option to include that drop shadow. So here you can see how these two items are kind of blending into each other. Well, now you can just simply go into the image adjustment tool. You'll see that there's a new option to apply a drop shadow. Click on that. You're going to see that shadow appear. And then over here, you've got a variety of different settings that you can use to control how you want that shadow to look. So for one, you can change the color of it by clicking into the color field here and you'll see that it just kind of updates and I can use the color wheel to change up the color of my shadow, but I'm just going to go ahead and leave it as a black option for now. Here, you can see that I'll be able to change the horizontal offset. So I can really decide exactly where I want this shadow to be placed. And then I also have my vertical offset here. So you can just kind of get everything perfectly aligned. You can increase the blur if you want to, or you can decrease it. And then here, you can also adjust the shadow opacity here. So it'll give you the ability to just kind of darken it up a little bit or lighten it depending on what you prefer. If you ever want to reset it, you can always do that as well. Um, and of course, if you ever just want to remove any drop shadows, just turn this toggle off and you'll see that it removes, turn it back on if you want to bring it back. So definitely jump into your design files account, because if you're creating concept boards like this, it'll really elevate them and kind of bring them to life and create a lot more depth for your designs. Um, another way that you could uh, use this is if you're creating simple concept boards like this, um, where you're just listing out your materials and you have it all gridded out. But again, you want to add that little drop shadow. So it makes it feel like each of these are, um, kind of like a 3d sample that's coming off of the background. Then this is where, again, you could use that drop shadow. And if you're creating more realistic mock-ups and you just feel like certain items in your designs are feeling a little flat for this, like, for example, let's just click on this pillow. Again, this would be a case where you could just apply a drop shadow and then make any adjustments that you want to make to just kind of lighten up the shadow or change the exact location of it and just give that item a little bit more depth within your design. All right, well, that basically covers it. I mean, it's really quick and simple and easy to use, but you can really see how it can add to the overall appeal of your design boards. So jump in, give this new feature a try. I know that many of you have been requesting this, so we're really excited to have it added in. And of course, if you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to us on the live chat. We're always happy to help.